Hey, what's up, YouTube? Matt from Gold Bros. Coming to you guys with another vlog today. Um, I just wanted to post this video. I don't want it to come off as like conceited or anything, but I get asked pretty frequently um, how to make a glove page, how to grow, stuff like that. So I am recording this on the same day I recorded um, my first vlog. I'm just going to bang them out. I got a little bit of time on my hands, so I decided that I'm just going to record every chance I get from now on. Um, I know tomorrow I have to drive down to my job and that's like 40 minutes so I could probably bang out like two or three vlogs. What I'm going to try to do is uh, record vlogs and then hold on to them and then whenever I don't have anything else that day I'll just post it. So um, just a couple tips. Um, I get asked all the time like how, how can I grow? How can I you know get bigger? Stuff like that. Um, my answers are going to be pretty simple. Um, one is always going to be treat everybody with respect. Um, I try to like tell myself is like, I try to act like I have a hundred followers all the time. I try to just treat everyone how I wanted to be treated when I was that small. And I remember we're always, you know, we try to pride ourselves on being like very humble and never let anything get to us as far as like you know how big we got or anything like that i always use big in quotes because it's like i just feel like you know one of the guys like i always have and that's all i ever want to be in this community um the fact that so many of you reach out to me and you know say really great things and that we could help you in some sort of way is that's why we do this you know I don't, i'm not in it for anything else i want to just you know spread knowledge and help everybody out um number two is not just be respectful to um, other accounts, but also, you know, know your place. If you're trying to do a deal with a big account, who's very reputable and you know, you don't, don't ask them to ship first or something like that. You know, always reference check with people. Don't follow or check. Uh, followers don't mean shit. Uh, they really don't. There's no really other way to say it. I know accounts that have 3,000, 4,000, 500, like 5,000 things and they get like 45 likes all they do is they buy ghost followers and try to post gloves and stuff and not saying they're scams or anything but just just you know protect yourself ask for references references over followers any day there's guys that are just getting in this community like yellow sub when he first started and uh what's his name cook j216 i think he's got like very few followers on instagram He's uh, an older guy from softball fans, but his softball fans rating speaks for itself. The dude has, you know, nothing but legit deals, stuff like that. And followers don't really mean anything. It's all about reputation. Like I said, references, references, references. That's how we've always been. Not about like, oh, who has more followers ships first or my, my personal favorite is when people say, if you come to me, you ship first. So you're saying if I if I find someone, and like I said in my last video, I'm always checking the Explore page. I'm always checking shit like that. Oop, there's an accident. That sucks. Um, uh, well, I lost my train of thought because of the accident. Um, like I'm always checking out pages, stuff like that. I'm always looking for more people to do deals with. I'm always looking for gloves. Like I just found um, an account. He's not a big account, you know, but he has a glove that I've been looking for for a very, 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 very long time. And I'm super excited about getting it. I really want him to ship already. By the time you see this, he might have shipped already. And I want that glove so bad. I've been looking for it. Happened to stumble upon his page on my Explore page. Clicked on it, you know. I get bored and I'm just like always looking and I found his page. I was looking and I saw the glove and I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. It's in really good shape. Once I get it though, I'm going to send it out to get some uh, work done to it. But that's not him. That's on me. I just want this glove to be in like as pristine condition as I can get it and so that's that's a big thing um don't become consumed with getting followers what how I always think it is you know followers are great but you know relationships and you know reputation is what this is all built on you know you'll grow once you start posting quality pictures stuff like that guys invest in taking quality pictures don't just take pictures in your room, on your floor. Don't just take pictures, you know, at the, the same field all the time. We go around and we really try to get different shots for you guys. Guys like um, Ray from Roadrunner, guys like Devin Colley, um, 
Jen from Pro Shoe Gloves. They really kill the photography, and I, I definitely miss people, and there's probably much more people. I'm just naming a few off the top of my head. Are really killing the photography game. That's what I love. That's what I think is really cool about all of this is when people take really like you know high quality pictures that's what gets you known when you get a lot of likes on a picture or you get a bunch of comments and stuff like that that gets you on the explore page stuff like that that's how more people find out about you um i was never really huge into doing like a gazillion hashtags like for a little while i tried it out and i would if i posted like a wilson i'd be like hashtag wilson a2000 you know a2k the model and it just never really worked. Like I never saw a big jump in followers to me. When we really saw a jump was when we first started the account was our 12 days of Christmas. That went over well. Looking back on it now, those pictures are absolute garbage. Um, but at the time they were cool. Um, you know, posting different types of gloves, stuff like that, getting different stock in was always cool. But you don't need a, a million gloves to you know, start an account even. You, 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 you do need a couple though, you know, honestly, I'm not gonna be like, you know, if you have one high quality glove, then you're set. You know, honestly, you need a couple because, you know, no one wants to see the same glove posted every day. I really try not to post the same glove within three or four days unless it's like a circumstance. Like when I took the picture of the Chris Bryant with the PS4 remote, you guys saw that. And then the next day I posted it again with a picture of Lori because I didn't know that it was uh, Chris Bryant's birthday as well as Lori's so I was like well you know it's too great of an opportunity to pass up I have to you know repost it again but you know diversity is really good in the you know uh, pictures stuff like that and obviously the most common one is like it's like rule zero is have a good knowledge um, have a base fundamental knowledge of gloves but at the same time don't pretend you know everything because damn well I know I don't there's some guys that have much more knowledge than me and there's, you know, I'm always trying to learn. I'm always trying to figure out what I can. I just had a conversation with a guy the other day. Um, what was his name? Oh, Glove Junkie, I think it was. Which is, I think it's a cool name. And um, he was talking about Horween and stuff like that. And, you know, just like a little background. He was, you know, he was emailing Rawlings. He was emailing the Horween factory. Trying to figure out, like, what gloves are Horween, we what's not, what do they supply Rawlings with, stuff like that. And I was really open to, you know, learning about all of it. And guys like Jay and Eric from Glove Love and even Pablo, you know, they have such an extensive knowledge on gloves. I really just like to learn from them. Every day I try to learn something new about gloves. You know, it doesn't happen every single day, but I try to learn something new every day in general. Um, it's mostly at work where I do most of my learning, but also you know, about gloves. I'm always trying to learn what I can about this because it's something, you know, I'm passionate about. If you're a crazy like me, and you, you, first of all, if you like this account, you're partially crazy. You have to understand that. And, you know, I do want to always learn more. I'm definitely more knowledgeable on Rawlings than I am about Wilson, but Wilson is a little bit easier, in my opinion, to learn about because it's, it's different than Wilson. It's different than Rawlings. So Rawlings, you know, any model glove you can get any web on, Wilson doesn't do that. And I respect them for that. And I, I, I wish they would kind of expand a little bit more in that aspect of like, you could get different webs on different gloves. I get why they don't, but it kind of makes it a little bit easier to learn their models and stuff like that, because you know what it's gonna come with stock. Um, you could obviously web swap a glove, but you know what I mean? Like a Rawlings could be a, an NP with a, a two piece web or, you know, it could be a Pro 200 with a basket connector. For 1786, it's gonna be an iWeb, or they call it an HWeb, which I don't get. I get why, like, if you turn the iWeb, it looks like an H, but I don't really get why they do it like that. But that's kind of how I see things um, as far as that goes. I always try to, like I said, I don't know if I said in this video, I said in my last one, I try to post a video or a picture, and if I was scrolling through Instagram, I would like that. That's how I try to be. I always try to pump out quality to you guys. And we do everyday posting, mostly on every day on Instagram, almost every single day. I think the only day we missed recently was on Marco's birthday because 
we were out, then we went out to dinner, and we ended up just not having a glove with us to post, and that sucked. I hate not posting. I feel like every day I post is a good opportunity to help us grow, and that's what it's all about, you know? You want to grow, and you want to get better, and you want to do everything every day to get better, and that's just how I am in life. I always feel like, you know, you're wasting your day if you're just, like, you know, sitting in bed, or if you, like, you know, me, it's like static is not posting. Um, you know, you can meet someone new when you post that day, you know, someone could find your page and I've built relationships through this account. And that's, what's awesome to me is I, you know, I talk to these people about who knows what, you know, I answer DMS all day. If you guys know me, if you're familiar with the page, I will always answer you. If you DM me always, I will always respond to you. If you will have a question about a glove, I will get to you as prompt as I can. If you want to have a conversation about life or what I was having a conversation with my um, my new Australian friend, and I think what is his name Tantrin Gloves. I think is his name. Um, we we're having a conversation the other day. Before you know, it, we're talking about life. We're talking about all different types of stuff. I'm learning about how Australian baseball is. I'm t like he's very familiar with the U.S. and I was just learning, and I think that's so cool. I could have conversations with people in Australia, and it was like three in the morning there, and it was like. I like just got to work, so it, I think it's really awesome that you know I can learn and do stuff like that every single day, and you know that's how you should be if you want to start a glove account. You know, be friendly, be kind, you know, be safe. That's definitely most important, especially if you're a small account. Be safe. Don't be afraid to use a middleman. Like middlemen really aren't that expensive. You know, it's a couple bucks will protect you to no doubt keep your glove safe, and. Um, that's just something, you know, just some quick tips. Not trying to sound conceited. I don't know everything about being a glove account by any means. I'm not the biggest account. I'm not the best account. I don't have the best gloves. I think I do a good job, and that's what matters to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if you guys are enjoying these vlogs or if they suck or, you know, if you tell me that I'm fat or whatever you want to say. Just drop it in the comments. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a good day.